Hey guys, Ginger here from Driven to Adventures. We are just a few weeks away from crossing into Mexico. The number one question we get asked from our family and friends, aren't you scared? The short answer to that is not really. Rather than listening to the US mainstream media tell us how dangerous and unsafe Mexico is, we're choosing to listen to the advice and information that we get from other overlanders who have actually been there. Their firsthand accounts tell us that Mexico is safe and welcoming. And yes, you have to use some common sense and like anywhere else, avoid certain areas and take certain precautions. So in this video, we're gonna go over the precautions we're taking to safeguard ourselves and our truck and camper. First up, we'll talk about how we're going to hopefully prevent our vehicle, our rig, our home on wheels from being stolen. Got to go in the cab. So the number one thing that we've done to hopefully prevent theft is to add a kill mechanism or a kill switch. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to show you where this is or explain exactly how we did it. You can search YouTube and find plenty of step-by-step -step videos. It's not exactly a kill switch. It's more of a kill step-by-step. -step. There is a series of things that you have to do in order for this engine to even start. And if you don't know them, you're never gonna figure them out. Lucky for us, Greg's an electrical engineer. And so he spent some time coming up with a system that he could set up and hopefully no one else can figure out. So next up are three things that we've added inside the cab, small things that hopefully will make a big difference. First up, back here, we've added a safe and it's bolted to the frame in a way that would be very difficult to get out. So we're gonna keep obviously important documents in here. And one thing I wanna mention is the importance of making copies of your documents, as well as giving copies to friends back home or uploading them to a cloud so that you have copies should you ever lose your originals. Next up, we have attached one of our cans of bear spray right here on the center console. Now, this is obviously geared for bears and other animals, but in a pinch, you can use it on people too. So the third thing we've added is this Garmin 55 dash cam. This is a really awesome camera and it's gonna help us in several instances. First, if we do come across being pulled over by a crooked cop that says that we ran a red light or a stop sign, we will have video to show whether we did or did not do it. Second, if we're in an accident and we're being blamed for being at fault, again, we will most likely, depending on how the accident happens, have video to show what occurred. The nice thing about this camera is that it's constantly recording it has an SD card inside and it will just re-record over the, the space that's available. Now, if something happens that you wanna save that video, it's very easy. All you have to do is say, okay, Garmin, save video. And the video for the last two minutes will be saved. Likewise, you can say, okay, Garmin, take a picture. There's a couple other features in here like a travel scape, which is basically a time-lapse that you can also have running at the same time you're recording videos or taking other pictures. Another thing I wanna mention about this camera is that we added a parking brake cable, which means that when the car is off, the camera will be drawing enough power so that it senses an incident, like something hits the car or the car is moved, then it will start recording and save the video it won't draw enough power to drain your battery. So that's a really nice feature to have as well. So this next item doubles as both vehicle, camper safety, and personal safety. And it is right above my head. It's our Reolink security camera. So this camera helps us in a lot of different ways. Number one, it helps us when we are inside the camper, especially at night, to be able to see what's happening in the back by the door. It has really awesome night vision and it's a really great way for us to see what's going on outside without whoever is outside seeing us look in. The next thing we use this camera for is for security when we are not at the camper. 
Through the Real Link app, we are able to see everything that's going on and we're able to get alerts anytime there's motion. You're able to set up the sensitivity for the motion detection as well as set areas that you want to avoid. So next up in our personal safety arsenal is our Delorum InReach. Delorum was later bought out by Garmin. They don't actually sell this unit anymore, but they do sell an upgraded, newer version of the InReach, which I will link down below. So the Garmin or Delorum InReach is a two-way satellite communicator. What does this mean? This means that independent of cell phone signal, I can use satellite technology to communicate via text or email with anyone. I can share my location with the built-in GPS, and most importantly, I can communicate 24 seven with Garmin's Geos search and rescue and monitoring services. So if we are in a situation where we need help, we need to coordinate any kind of rescue, or even if we've broken down and we don't have any signal and just need someone to help us coordinate getting a tow truck, we can use this device. Um, it's a really handy feature. We're gonna be using it as we cross into Mexico to send our location every day to our friends and family back home, which will give them peace of mind as well as give us peace of mind. All right, guys, so the camper is currently off the truck. I am sitting in the bed of the truck and where I'm sitting is right where our emergency exit window is in the camper. Now, some of you might remember from our build video, we talked about building this emergency pass through and we demonstrated in that video that you can in fact crawl through here. So a lot of people think that this is overkill and unnecessary and I definitely hope that it is unnecessary. But for us, we wanted this peace of mind. So what this is for is if we are in the camper and there is some situation outside that we feel unsafe and want to leave, we don't have to exit the camper to get into the truck and drive away. We can simply crawl in here and drive away. Again, this is probably never gonna happen. I hope it never happens. But if we ever are in a situation where we are uncomfortable, we have a way to exit and to leave that area without putting ourselves outside the camper and possibly in a dangerous situation. So I just caught Greg on a lunch break from working on our solar. Greg, do you wanna say anything about how you feel about going to Mexico? Are you scared? I'm excited to go to Mexico. I'm uh, not scared at all. Um, I mean... What about all the stuff we hear on the news about how dangerous it is and how we're gonna be kidnapped and held for ransom and cut into tiny pieces? <laughs> I mean, I think this is something that's happening like once every blue moon and um, I mean, the probability for that to happen, it's I think pretty low. Um, I mean, you could say the same thing about like all the mass shooting that there is in US, like are you scared to go in US? There is like shootings every day, mass shootings every day. I mean, same, same. Yeah, no, I'm not scared. So that's pretty much it, guys. The only thing I forgot to mention was that we do have a second canister of bear spray mounted up by the foot of our bed inside. Also, we will be traveling with travel insurance that includes um, evacuation coverage for medical issues or political or civil unrest in the countries that we are visiting. You know, those are just good things to have no matter where you're going, because you never know what can happen. Overall, we're super excited. Can't wait to get into Mexico. And if something bad does happen, I promise we will tell you about it. So be sure to click subscribe, hit the bell button so you can be notified on our new videos, and we will see you later. Bye guys.